Hello and welcome to the lesson. In this lesson, I want to explain what is PPC. So PPC stands for pay per click, which means that you as an Amazon advertiser will be charged a certain amount every time that one of the Amazon site visitors clicks on your ad, regardless if he or she buys your product. This amount that you will pay, which is also called a bid, will be set by you inside an advertising system that Amazon will give you access to. When you are setting your bid, you are telling Amazon how much you are willing to pay for an ad placement on their website. Now, in many cases on Amazon, other advertisers will be selling the same product that you are selling or a similar product. And like in a regular auction, each one of the competitors will be placing a bid as well. I will go into ad placement and bids in much more depth in a future lesson. But generally speaking, Amazon looks at all the bids of all the advertisers that are bidding on a certain product and then gives the best ad placement to the advertiser that bids the most. And the second highest bidder will get the second best ad placement and so on. So just as an example, if advertiser X is willing to pay $1 every time that an Amazon visitor clicks on his or her ad, and advertiser Y is willing to only pay $0.50 cents every time that an Amazon visitor clicks on his or her ad, then advertiser X will get a better ad placement, which means more potential exposure and thus potentially more sales. To make it easier to understand, let's imagine a regular bookstore. If two writers want to place their books in the bookstore, then each one of the writers can tell the bookstore owner how much he or she is willing to pay for a book placement. So the writer who is willing to pay the most will get his or her book placed in a better location in the store. Basically a location that gets the most attention. Might be the store display window. Now, the second writer who is paying less may get his or her book on one of the bookstore's shelves, which is still great, but obviously less people will be exposed to the book than if it was placed in the bookstore's window display. And if suddenly a third writer comes along and is willing to pay more than the first writer who is paying the most, then the bookstore owner might place his or her book in the window display and move the first writer's book that was previously there to one of the shelves. And the book of the second writer that was previously on the shelves might move to the floor or to any other section in the store where even less people see it. So this is where Amazon and a bookstore are similar, yet there is a major distinction between the two. And this major distinction is in favor of Amazon. In our example, the owner of the bookstore will keep charging writers for placing their books in his or her bookstore regardless if someone actually saw them. Which means that the free writers that I mentioned can keep paying the book owner for days, weeks, months and even years for placing their books on his or her bookstore, even if none of the bookstore visitors has even noticed their books. On Amazon, it works the other way around. You can have billions of people seeing your product said and you will not pay a dime until someone will actually click on it. And if someone clicks on your ad, you will pay Amazon according to your bid. So that's it for this lesson and I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.